Celtics fans weren't the only ones fired up with Kyrie Irving for stomping on Lucky the Leprechaun on center court in Boston. Well, a Hall of Famer who once kissed the emblem, not having it. Celtics great Kevin Garnett posting on IG. So nobody going to say anything about Kyrie stomping on Lucky. We're just going to act like we didn't see that. You can't do that. That's not cool on no level. All of us need to be better. Uh, big baby Glenn Davis also chimed in with, like I said, you step on Lucky, you step on everybody that played for that team. Keep that expletive basketball before somebody gets hurt in real life. Now, this incident, of course, took a backseat to a fan throwing a water bottle at Kyrie on Sunday night. That fan, 21-year-old Massachusetts native Cole Buckley, was banned from TD Garden and will be arraigned Tuesday on a charge of assault and battery. Uh, by means of a dangerous weapon, local police told reporters that. Let's bring in a champion with the Boston Celtics. There he is. Uh, Kendrick Perkins with us. Good to see you, Big Perk. And I want to start with you here and get that player perspective. What do you make of former Celtics coming out and attacking Kyrie's actions? Well, well, first of all, I want to say, you know, I love my 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 brothers, KG and Big Baby, and I, I'm a, uh, I love my Celtic nation. But I'm going to say this. I don't give a damn if Kyrie Irving dropped it like it was hot on the damn logo. At the end of the day, look, you cannot tell the player how to celebrate. He didn't hurt nobody, okay? This game is, is built off emotions. Excuse me, last time I checked, wasn't the fans booing Kyrie? Wasn't the fans sitting up there yelling, F you, Kyrie? And Kyrie went out in game four and almost had a 40-piece wing dinner and grabbed 10 biscuits, meaning to grab 11 rebounds in that game. So at the end of the day, he was playing with a lot of emotions. They disrespected Kyrie the entire game. You cannot have it both ways. You can't dish it out and not be able and not be willing to accept it. So it don't bother me that Kyrie did what he did. He had the right to do whatever the hell he wanted to do after having a performance like he did. So Celtic fans, my brother KG, Big Baby, I love you all. But y'all got to get out y'all feelings. If he would have stood on the damn scores table, I wouldn't give a damn because Kyrie did what he was supposed to do in a hostile environment. He handled his business. And now you just got to move on. Tell me about a damn lucky logo. The logo, <laughs> same floor they pulled up the night before, the same floor that they could buff out if it has uh, scuff marks in it. I don't want to hear that. It did not surprise me that KG said something. And I pointed it out yesterday that the fan who got ejected, the fan who threw the water bottle and should be prosecuted. You can't throw stuff at people. I don't, it doesn't matter if you're in an arena. You didn't leave the United States. You didn't leave the state you're in. You're subject to laws. You know, you got to still act like a, like a, like a, you know, you're in civilization because you are. So that fan got, he got removed and she prosecuted. He was wearing a KG jersey. And we were all quick to talk about the racial component to this. And, and maybe there is a racial component to it that the fan is not aware of, like that he needs to be more sensitive to, to in a larger sense. But maybe what that fan was thinking was wearing the KG jersey, was, boy, KG knew the Celtic way. He showed up, gave his all to the franchise, loved this place, won a championship. You know, is, that, is a true Celtic. And Kyrie showed up. We were better off without him than with him. He said he'd never leave, and then he bounced. Then he comes back and disrespects our logo center court. That is not an excuse to throw something at someone. That is not an excuse. I don't think KG is saying it's an excuse. He's just pointing out that people are mad at Kyrie. doesn't excuse the behavior. They're mad at Kyrie. I understand what KG is saying. I get it. That does not mean a fan gets to break the law. I mean, go ahead, break the law, and now suffer the consequences. So, so, Perk, I get what KG is saying, and I don't think KG, Big Baby, came closer to saying, hey, you know, before it gets real. He came, walked up to that line closer than KG did. KG was just talking about the emotional side of it. Let me say this. <clears throat> I'm actually upset that I have to talk about KG today because – when I talk about KG, what I wanted to bring up was how happy I am for him that he is a Hall of Famer, that his speech was great, that he deserved it, and I appreciate what KG has meant to the game because when you talk about a cat, we're going to talk about Russell Westbrook in a similar light when he goes into the Hall of Fame someday. Dudes that, never, che <laughs> dudes that never cheated us. Yeah. 
When they went, when they stepped on the court, they never cheated us. You always knew they were given 100 percent trying to win. You knew that. OK. And, and so I got love for, for, for KG and I got love for, for, for Big Baby. But this was not the time to say such a thing. I mean, my God, time ain't, it, 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 maybe it ain't everything, but damn it, it's pretty close to it sometimes. You got some white kid that's 21 years old. Yes, he was wearing a Garnett jersey, but exhibiting his punk tendencies, deciding to stand up in the fans and throw a bottle at Kyrie Irving that came two inches away from his head. That ain't the time to sit up there and bring up some stuff about stepping on some logo. Mm. Especially when Kyrie Irving talked about y'all before he got there. Then got there, dropped 39 and won. You had ample opportunity to shut him up. You didn't succeed. As KP said, you got you to gotta stomach that. I don't give a damn if he was dry, if he dropped it while it's hot on the, on the damn logo. Handle your business against him. That's how you shut him up. And KG knows that better than anybody. And Big Baby knows it too. Why would you pick this time to make that point about Kyrie Irving? Because understand, and the fan, that little punk that did that stuff, let's understand something here. You know you had an opportunity for Kyrie Irving to be considered a huge villain in the eyes of a lot of people Made him if you had never thrown the bottle. But by being that punk, yeah. you made it a story about you and your insidious behavior as opposed to Kyrie. And KG and Glenn Big Baby Davis, you can't tell me that you think that should be the story instead of the cat throwing a bottle at one of your former contemporaries. You, I, I don't believe, I love KG and Big Baby. I know them well enough. You can't tell me that that's what you support. I don't believe that. Yeah, and, and look, at the end of the day, right, the, the guy that threw the bottle, we all know he was wrong. But it, I'm talking about the emotions of the game in itself. Yeah. Forget all the outside noise. Forget what happened with the force with Kyrie making a statement with the racism. I'm talking about the game itself. All right, and just the emotions and the fans and what they, how they really disrespected Kyrie. I mean, screaming "F you, Kyrie!" is disrespectful. Kyrie took it like a man. He went in, into Game Four and he handled his business in the garden. How that man wanted to leave out and walk out through that tunnel, or how he wanted to celebrate—that's his damn business. And I don't see a problem with how he celebrated. Being a guy that played with a a uh, 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 sense of tenacity. Watching KG also play with a uh, with a certain type of tenacity, especially on the road. Watching him go back and forth with fans, you mm -hmm. love that type of energy. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I think I think Stephen A's your point is very well taken. About like you wanted Kyrie to be the villain. That's gone now. You just if you're a Celtic fan and you're like, oh look what he did. No one feels you know, and no one feels bad about Kyrie now. You've totally Wash that away. I just want to say one thing real quick, Perk, and this will make you smile. I will never forget when you talk about the energy and intensity of KG when you guys won the chip. I think it was at the Garden, beat the Lakers yes. back in 08, and he had that rallying cry, and my dad's a diehard Celtics fan because they would come and play at the Hartford Civic Center. I grew up in Connecticut. And when he screamed out, anything is possible, whatever I hear KG, I will think about that. That's one of my favorite moments in sports, and that was obviously a very good day for you, sir. Um, Perk, sit tight. We got more coming here. Nobody, uh, nobody comes on first take and brings the fire predictions like Perk. As a pivotal game five between the Suns and the Lakers awaits, Big Perk knows exactly how that game is gonna shake out and speaking of bold Patrick Mahomes has 20 and 0 in mind for the Chiefs what our guys debate if that's within reason and if Tom Brady has a better chance at that mark in 2021 stay here